So we recently got a taste of what is probably India's most fun hatchback, the BMW 1 Series, in the form of the 118D. A short compact chassis with a torquey diesel engine, loads of fun to drive. But what happens when you switch out the diesel engine for a petrol one? This over here is the 116i from BMW and this particular one has been done up all the way to stage 2 and I'm going to tell you all about it today. Now when it was launched, people didn't really like the design of the 1 series, especially this one. This is the pre-LCI version, but I think so over time it has really grown on people and now people just love the looks of it because it's super quirky and it doesn't look like anything on the road, especially your normal day-to-day -day hatchback. And that's because, like I said, it's a short compact chassis which is rear wheel drive. Now yes, that has its downsides. For example, the rear cabin space is basically non-existent, but uh, you at least have a super fun car to drive. Uh, and this particular car has been finished in Valencia Orange which is actually the BMW 1M, that legendary car that came out in the 2010 era. It was basically that car's launch colour and I think so it's a fantastic colour, a really iconic BMW colour and this particular owner has finished a lot of the accents and everything in gunmetal grey which really complements the look of this car and yeah it's a really nice and quirky looking car. Now hop into the 116i and I'm not gonna lie it does feel a little dated in 2023 but the owner has done some changes here and there to make it feel a little bit more special. For example this amazing M Sport style steering wheel. I think so. Is This is one of the nicest steering wheels around. I had the same experience of this particular steering wheel in the F82 M4 and it is basically identical in this car. So yeah, I'm super excited to see how this steering feels when you're actually on the move. Super chunky. It's finished in leather and Alcantara and you have the 12 o'clock pinstripe as well. Some other little things that I really like about this car is first of all that you have a floor mounted accelerator pedal. Now a lot of newer cars get like the wall mounted pedal or whatever you want to say but a floor mounted accelerator pedal always feels super nice and you can give precise inputs in my opinion. Now of course you have the lack of a real infotainment system, you don't get a big touch screen, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay but again I like that nostalgic feel because it feels really analog and it feels like it's meant for driving. Now, like I said in the design talk, uh, the rear seats are basically non-existent and uh, the rear boot is also pretty much non-existent and moreover you cannot seat 5 people in this car at all because of this massive transmission tunnel over here in the middle. So it's very impractical but if you are someone who is an enthusiast and you know you're a bachelor probably this is one of the coolest cars that you can buy and also just like many other VAG products in the market the BMW ecosystem also has a lot of things where you can mix and match parts as well so I'm pretty sure you can get some sort of a screen for the one series as well now before we go any further I want to tell you guys that this particular 116i stage 2 is on sale with us at TDH classifieds so if you're looking to get a cool little BMW like this 116i get in touch with us on Instagram at TDH classifieds now the 116i is a little bit of a special car in my opinion because it's one of the very few times BMW's nomenclature has actually matched with the engine. Now like the name suggests 116i, if you pop open the hood, you find a 1.6 litre turbocharged 4 cylinder engine. Stock it used to make uh, 140 HP and 220 nm of torque but now with a ton of mods like a performance uh, MST cold air intake, a uh, high flow decat downpipe custom made, uh, quantum tuning stage to remap. This thing now makes 220 HP and somewhere near 300 Nm of torque. And all of this power goes to the rear wheels and yeah, I'm super excited to drive it. Uh, they've also done a little bit of tweaks in terms of updating the gearbox software. So, so it has BMW ZF 8-speed TCU tune, so which is an updated tune I'm guessing. And it has a couple of more mods in here and there. So let's shut the hood, get into the driver's seat and see how it feels.
instantly you can feel that this is a tiny car i mean to start off with it is super easy to navigate around these tight bombay streets and let me tell you a cool little fact this 1.6 liter turbo 4 is actually shared with the mini cooper platform so the mini coopers around the same era as this which is i think so 2013 or so used to get this same engine but of course in a different layout the mini coopers were front wheel drive whereas this thing is rear wheel drive now the owner has also unlocked a couple of features like you've seen in VAGs and all just by a simple coding and you know doing some software updates or whatever you can unlock some really cool things in these cars so this thing has the sport plus feature unlocked in it so you know the throttle response is more aggressive the gearbox is more aggressive i am not in sport plus so how about we get into sport plus and traction is kind of off like i think so it's put into sport traction mode and the streets are little greasy but i mean what can go wrong let's put it into manual and yeah i'm not going to drift around or anything but let's just give it a little bit of beans oof it moves and uh, the owner has also fitted a diverter valve to it and gives a little cool noise once you let off uh, the accelerator and this uh, tune is from quantum tuning it's a pops and crackles tune but it's not like all of the polos and all of that stuff that you see according to the owner so it only pops and cracks on overrun or you know if the exhaust is really hot so it's a more of a natural pops and crackles tune rather than you know artificially dumping in fuel or doing whatever also like i said this thing has uh, an updated firmware for the gearbox so the upshifts the downshifts are a little bit more responsive but not the most responsive gearbox out here but i'm not complaining i mean it's totally totally acceptable how fast this gearbox shifts considering that it's a torque converter and what i'm really enjoying is the feeling that i'm being pushed rather than being pulled and it's a really different feeling in a compact hatchback like this and this chunky m sport steering wheel in front of me really enhances the driving experience because it's so nice to hold and again the floor mounted pedal means that you can give you can have better input to the throttle and yeah it's a really cool little build and considering that one series and all are super super uh, cheap nowadays in the used car market they're rare no doubt about that but if you do find one i don't think you'll be spending more than let's say 10 lakhs for acquiring it which is a pretty good deal in my opinion and the other thing that you really feel in a car like this because it's rear wheel drive is the turn in and the front end it's so much more lively or you can feel so much more because there's no power going through it so you know it's really more responsive in that way and i'm pretty sure if i turn traction completely off go into a corner and just step on it it will lose the tail but not my car not going to be doing that so how much would this sort of a setup cost on a 116i let's break it down first off is the quantum tuning stage 2 remap which costs approximately 30000 rupees This remap also includes the BMW Sports TCU update and the Sports Plus dynamic traction control coding as well. Next is the custom high flow decat downpipe which will set you back around a cool 25 grand. The MST cold air intake will cost you 50000 rupees. The GFB diverter valve will cost you about 10000 rupees. The OEM M Sport style steering wheel with the lovely Alcantara finish and the leather finish is another cool 80000 rupees rounding off the total to 1.95 lakhs not a big surprise considering that this is still a BMW at the end of the day so overall i feel that this is a cool little build personally if you ask me i would go for the diesel variant uh, but i mean if you are a petrol head there is no two ways about it this thing is super fun to drive and it really shifts once you start 
putting your foot to the floor but at the end of the day it is still a bmw so don't forget about that and the maintenance and all of that stuff is going to be on the expensive side so let's say you're in the market for a polo don't buy this car because it's going to be more expensive to maintain since it's almost 10 years old now i think so it'll have a lot of problems as well but if you're an enthusiast you have the money to spend really cool build and honestly if you ask me bmw should have gotten the m140i into india uh, but unfortunately they didn't but this thing actually is compatible for a lot of engine swaps as well you can put in an s55 you can put in the b58 gen 1 if you find one i don't think those came to india uh, but if you do get your hand on any of those engines and you have a one series do an engine swap Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel. I've linked the owner's uh, Instagram ID and everything down in the description if you want to know more about his car, his experiences and all of that. Uh, do subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram. And I will catch you in the next one.